Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showcasing the new update I did in Deep Welcome Playground. Now, this update has added quite a lot of requested stuff, and there's also good progress on the Blade Harper Oath. So that's going to be dropping very, very soon. I don't know exactly when. And also, um, they have added an official tournament like event reward. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. But first things first, obviously, we have Imperial Staff. Now, this is a very requested uh, weapon. It's got all the criticals, standard critical, it's got the aerial one, it's got the uh, the running one. See, the aerial one block breaks, the standing one does like four bars of posture, and like the running one does a lot of damage, but... And also posture breaks after like, I think eight hits or something? Something like that. So overall, I'm going to make a build with this weapon, because one, it's very OP, two, it's very fun to use, Three, it is very different to like every other weapon. And uh, on that note, I will be dropping soon uh, a build video of the best build I have ever made to date. Like an actual comp, you will win like almost every fight build. But it is like a bit of skill. All right, next thing they added is the Aetheron Curse Shield. 542 requirement. Uh, it's not crazy, but it's another shield option. Uh, people just use Khan Shield or Pratt's Defender anyway, but it's good to have. Now. Something really, really important. So, this has to do with Dawnwalker. Let me get myself a little uh, Dawnwalker. So, um, about Dawnwalker, they have added all the talents for Dawnwalker, and they have finally added Radiant Dawn. Uh, Radiant Kick has also been improved. So, Radiant Kick and Radiant Dawn are now both like pretty much one to one. Now, some other update that I didn't cover. You could probably see it from my armor and like Blade Harper visual. Um, is that die packets have been added, and this was ages ago, well actually not really that long, like maybe last week, and you can just buy them from the harbor. Yeah, it costs 10 oak shards, which you get from depths, so, and you can change anything, so for example, um, you can even change your armor, so like for example, if I wanted to make this like, black. You press yes to respawn. If you do, um, if you respawn, you lose all of your die packets. So do not buy die packets like all at one time and then respawn. Don't do that. If you're gonna buy a lot of die packets at once, press the no option that comes up when you use a die packet. For example, I go to my armor. Say I want to make it fully white. See how it said yes or no. You want to press no. Pressing yes will respawn you. And finally, the last thing, the event weapon. I can't actually give myself the event weapon, but if you guys know this weapon, I'll put a picture on screen. It is Supa's and Valakis custom weapon, like the purple astral moon blades with the critical of the flare blood commas. The weapon is just flare blood commas reskin. It has the same animations, same critical, but purple. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that weapon all the time. But really, that's all for this update. It's a pretty good update, I have to say. Uh, especially Imperial Staff. Uh, I will be making probably a Sumo Kong build. I, I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I still need to make the Flurry Blood Commas build. But first, I want to drop my top 1 build. My personal best. The personal build I use on my alt account. And yeah, that's about it. Sorry, uh, I don't I don't sound like so enthusiastic. It's kind of late. And I got school tomorrow. I'm editing this so late. Because the update dropped like right now. But yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.